Hello everyone, I'm Val from Mike and Val's Life, and today I am participating in the Hocus Pocus three-part challenge, hosted by Crafty Kitty. Now this is challenge number one, and it is where you do a DIY or revamp a home decor item. I will go ahead and tell you, on the September 22nd is part two, and that is when you make a Halloween treat. And then on September 29th, you do a tablescape using your DIY project and your treat. So let me get started on part one. I went to Goodwill and I found these three jack-o'-lanterns. I was gonna say pumpkins, but they are jack-o'-lanterns. The first one is a glossy uh, jack-o'-lantern with a big hole in the back. And this was originally made to be a tea light holder. Now I have cleaned them up good and I just could not get this off. I have no idea what this is, but that's okay because it's gonna be covered up. The second one, is in a matte color and it was a it didn't have this part to it but it was originally looked like a little night light but when I bought it, it I bought it just like this and the third look how cute he is this was also a little battery operated one here and I've taken that part out so the other items that I'm going to need is a string of lights. Now I'm using this uh, purple color, but you could use orange, you could use clear, just whatever you want. I'm also using orange netting, E6000. I'm going to use a few glue dots. This, I'm not real sure how I'm going to do it, but I've got some leaves and some raffia that I may use. So, let me get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to thread these lights into all three pumpkins. starting with my bottom pumpkin. Okay. Now, we're going to thread it to the second one, or the middle one. So now, first thing I'm going to do on this one is to put some netting inside. All you have to do is just sort of ball it up and tuck it in. Then we're going to put these lights inside of here. This is the easy one. Okay. 
lay it there for a second. Next, we have to put some netting in the second one, or the middle. And we'll add some lights to this one. And we can hold that right there for right now. And then we put our last netting in the bottom. Now, step number two, we're going to start with this one here. Oh, we have to start with this one here. I'm sorry. Here we go. is to see exactly where we want to position our pumpkins. Now we're going to get out E6000 Just to make sure, because we are about to glue. Okay. Now the E6000 is permanent. So once you glue it, it's going to be down, but it's hard to dry. It takes about 24 hours to dry. Now I got these glue dots, and they are really, really good. So what I'm going to do is going to put some glue dots down also. Now the glue dots will hold it there really good up until the E6000 dries. You can do the same thing with a hot glue gun, but this is less messy and you don't have to get out your glue gun and stuff like that. So let's just try. First thing I'll do is the glue dots. Just, just need a couple, I think. Just to make sure. Now we're going to put some E6000. These back in here. Whoop. 
get this back in position. Make sure it looks good all the way around. Always forget a paper towel. Now for the last one. I'm going to leave a link to uh, Crafty Kitty's channel. Please check her out. She loves to do DIYs. She loves to uh, do thrift store, uh, thrift store hauls and things like that. Uh, and I also just want to thank her for making this an open challenge. I love doing these kind of things. Sometimes they turn out Sometimes they don't. This one, I'm pretty pleased. I just wish I could have found something I could have put around here. And I still might before Challenge 2 and Challenge 3. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, like I said, please go check out Crafty Kitty's channel. You're going to love her. And I want to thank each and every one of you who has uh, watched my DIY. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye!